Welcome to my new vlog. So, yep, I'm in McDonald's again, but I'm in another McDonald's in another part of London because tonight we are seeing the Seagull at the National Theatre, which is literally up the road and up in Bagman. So, you know, just sitting down having some tea, and I think we're all really, really excited to be here. So I'm now sitting in the theatre and I've got my programme and we're waiting for the show to start which is in about, gosh, actually in just over five minutes. So it's very, very exciting. I mean, I won't film what's going on down now because I think that'd be a bit copyright law, but absolutely incredible. This is looking um, the set's in amazing so far and I kind of want to talk about the cast a bit. So we have Anna Chancellor who's a really uh, celebrated and award-winning actress in theatre, television and film. There's Josh Richard James is playing Constantine and I saw him three years ago in the Tempest at the Globe Theatre and then Olivia Vinyl is playing um, Nina she was she's worked here many many times including Othello which we watched in AS Level English where she played Desdemona yeah, some of it. and she's playing and she's been in their production of King Lear so she's been really quite an amazing lady and I really can't wait to see her so it was quite amazing being back at the um, Olivier because I was here we'll be coming up to a, a year ago now to see our hundreds good and we were sat just about over there where I um just zoomed in so yeah um, I'm probably gonna stop this is probably gonna be it for part one and I'll see if I can report back at the interval and kind of talk about what's been happening as a bit of a virtual notes and and so far it's been very very good very impressive so you know the set and how they've used it so like the character duration treat you know broken dreams and love and youth and age and so things are really good I'm stressed here though and then the performances are very good Anna Charles are very good Joshua James brilliant particularly in their scene where we see the, the Arcadina and Josh Arcadina and Constantine's relationship and then the relationship so and then when he, he breaks down and cries I felt very moved by that Nina's very good how she's growing up made decision though you do have to feel a bit sorry for her, her naivety so all in all it's very very good so far I'm really impressed so I'm very excited for acting to start and, oh um Never mind, I'll see you later. Okay, um, I thought that I've had an ice cream, which, sorry, it's another tradition that I like to do when I go to the theatre, buy an ice cream. I thought I'd like, I'd try and talk about um, the play and what kind of acting moments I found particularly powerful, so, and um, performances, so, at the moment, I'm, I really, I'm really finding Joshua James's portrayal of Constantine is very powerful because we sort of, as Act One has gone on, we've kind of seen his like deterioration where he's gone from at, at the beginning 
was much more hopeful about his play and about himself to then to eventually spiral in and then to eventually spiral down in Act 3 where at the mention of Trigorin and who reminds him of everything he's not, he just completely collapses and, and how he did it where he kind of sprawled on the floor and it's like crying with Arcadina on him, it really emphasised that childlike quality which I think we all, everyone has, where um, you know, we're all young at, at heart and we really, and I thought as he did that the theme of like youth and age was brought across and it was, and, you know, then that kind of made it more emotionally powerful for the audience so I think that's something we can all link with no matter how old or young we are and it's kind of like and, okay remember what I was going to say now he was I thought it really showed that he needs to be nurtured and he needs to be loved by Arcadino which he hasn't feel like he's had throughout the play and I thought that was very you know, that, was, that was very powerful and, one thing about the lake, which I want to say now, just because I'm thinking about it, because I'm slightly worried that I'm going to forget, it's kind of like how the lake supports the idea of how everything is not as it seems, and it's and it, as it seems. So that's kind of something that came up in the Arcadina and Arcadina and Constantine scene, where it seems as though the relationships patched up, whereas you know, having read the play, it's not. Sorry, spoilers. And then with Tri and then Trigorin and, and Nina, you know, with the lake in the background, it kind of make, it makes you kind of think he's eventually going to sink and sink, and Trigorin's feelings for Nina are not as is true and as genuine as they could be. So I think that's another way that this play is just so so powerful, and I think it's. And honestly, it's another reason why this play is just so powerful. And I'm really feeling like I'm lear learning a lot, which I, which is what I want. I, I which is what I wanted. So pretty good. So pretty good.